Only a small percentage of the dreams I remember each morning have to do with my waking life in this reality. The vast majority of the dreams I remember depict other realities, some of which are parallel and others of which are whole other lifetimes. Often I come lucid or maybe just am having a vivid dream. Uh, to find that uh, I'm not Casey. I look down at myself or look at myself in the mirror only to discover I'm someone else. Are these other lives my soul is living? Uh, am I beginning to connect within myself with the rest of myself? With the rest of my soul family? I suspect this, but I still lack the, the depth of direct experience that would allow me to clearly know this. It's coming. The dream space is an amazing territory. I'm only just now starting to gleam that it's, um, it's not any one thing in particular, but like all subjective environments, it's experienced in the way that it's being thought of. And this can change at any time, from moment to moment, from experience to experience. But I generally tend to uh, see the dream space, or what I more commonly call the subconscious, as a collective environment within which there is a much smaller space um, allotted or assigned or whatever, strictly to me. And this area is private to me. I'm the only one, uh, or my vibrational DNA sound is the only key that can enter this space, and this is the way I experience it. Others find the, the dream space or subconscious to be an entirely personal, private space. Uh, they think of it uh, as their own personal subconscious, rather than the subconscious, <laughs> and this is the way they experience it. No right or wrong in any of this. Uh, there's just an infinite number of possibilities of experiential hats to try on. Maybe you find this too, but I find as the object perceived reality fades, so too does the word or. Taking its place is an infinite and. It's time to get used to this. Over the past few days, I've, I've been pulling through some interesting experiences in the dream state. Nothing wholly lucid. These are primarily being experienced as dreams and vivid dreams. But the experiences I, I find to be extraordinary. There is a message in them I know, but I, I'm still integrating. Um, the other day, uh, in the dream state, I was with one of my brothers, his wife, and uh, a baby, an infant child. And without going into a lot of the superfluous details, um, I noticed that the baby needs to be changed. 
love the metaphor there. And I, I take the baby and, and set uh, him on a changing table. <laughs> Now somewhere in here my consciousness shifts uh, into a location with my brother and uh, we're continuing a dialogue, um, a serious dialogue, uh, re-establishing communication with each other. And near the end of the conversation, which itself was rather brief, I remember the child and that I have the child by itself, and I feel this extreme panic flood into me, and I shift back into where the baby is and come running into the room to find that the child has fallen off of the table onto the floor. I have no idea whether the child is hurt or still alive or not or what. And I rush down, and I take the child in my arms and I'm just repeating over and over and over again uh, into its ear, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, please be okay. And in the middle of this, um, my consciousness shifted to where I was no longer the person saying this, I was the child and the event then shifted into something more resembling an etheric projection. Uh, for those of you who know what this is, it's uh, uh, just when your consciousness shifts into the etheric, which is very close to the physical. So if you don't know what an out-of-body experience or etheric shift is, uh, and you experienced something like this, you would think that you were hearing something from your physical reality. And... I heard being said in my ear by a being, I am so sorry, I am so sorry, I am so sorry, uh, I dropped you, I'm so sorry. And um, it was just extraordinary because, again, I, I shifted from the dream state into the etheric shift perspective of what was happening <laughs> and moved from being the person saying this to the person hearing it. And the voice was was so odd. Um, sort of electrical. Um, N not quite human, and uh, this may be because my consciousness just wasn't awake enough in, in the experience mm, to hear it entirely clearly, I don't know. But just the shift in perspective from being me to being the child was interesting. And then this morning, this was entirely amazing. Uh, this was uh, uh, just a normal dream, but I pulled it forward uh, in an interesting way. Won't go into that at the moment either. I will just say that uh, in, in this location I was with an uh, oriental man or uh, perhaps Mandarin Something, something like this. We're in an outdoor area in a ceremonial uh, ritual uh, with each other. And there were a few other people present as well. This man was speaking to me. And in the middle of the experience, I felt from my physical location... Uh, pressure, like, like two fingertips touching my, uh, just up and just down of my left temple, like this, and I experienced it in the dream state as me actually doing this, putting my two fingers in this location, which allowed me to begin understanding what this person speaking in Mandarin was saying, and I began hearing it in my mind in English. 
Now, I know at this point in the dream that I'm not Casey, that uh, the Casey consciousness has, has come somewhat awake inside another person who this was happening with. Again, another member of my soul family. I don't know. But the conversation, uh, the part that I remember, because I was so wowed by it happening, had to do with uh, an assassin and an assassination, which is a theme which some, sometimes happens with me. I, there's a half a dozen other locations where, where that particular mm, theme came up. But the shift in being able to understand a language that I didn't know, uh, someone speaking Mandarin and me understanding in English was, a, was another really interesting thing to me, especially in the, in the scheme of the dreams I've been pulling forward this past week. Mm. Still integrating.